and task tutorial, the all-in-one project management software. Hey guys, welcome to this video in which I am giving you an task tutorial. I'll show you all of the things you need to know in order to make an informed decision if Ntask is the project management software for you or not. So let's get into it. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go to ntaskmanager.com and you will land on this website right here. You have to go to ntaskmanager.com and you will land on this website. In order to get started, you have to click on sign up for free or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. After the initial sign up or sign in to your end task, this is where you will land. This is our beginner's dashboard and we are getting a team. You create a team with end task and a workspace. We can have more than one workspaces on end task and we can switch between the workspaces. So I have created this workspace here. But if I want to create a new one, just click here and give your workspace a name. Once you create a workspace, this is what it will look like. Within a workspace, we have different projects, boards, tasks, meetings, timesheets, issues, and risks. So here we can go to the project and we can get started with a new project on end task. Click on add new, select project, give your project a name. So I'm going to call it test. Now we can enter the description. So in description, I'll just go with the word description and now we can select the color let's go with orange and click enter and click create project and your new project will be created now you can see this is a new project and i can add resources in a project we can add different tasks milestones financial summary and work calendar if you want to separately create a board and then add to this project you can just go to the add new option which is the quick access option at the top and click on project uh, before you get started with n task and you create a workspace you also can add team members so you can go to the team option here and click on create team and here you will add team names and after adding team name you will enter email addresses and invite people so that is how you create a team in n task so once you have your team ready then you'll be able to create projects and tasks very easily so we have created a project i want to now uh, create a board so i'll just switch to the board option and within our boards again we can select from a template or create a new one so this is the one that we have already created i'm going to create a new one give our board a title let's call it test again and i'm just going to go with the word description and give it a color let's go with pink click on create board and a new board will be created within a board we have different lists and we can create different tasks so we have our different groups and i can change the group name we have not started in progress in review completed but i can actually change the name for this we can now add task click on add new task option and give your task a name i'm gonna call it task one click enter and a new task will be created then we can add another one task two similarly task three there you go now we have three tasks created i can open up a task and i can do a lot more with that so i have opened up task three we can actually switch to the full screen i can select a project for the project i'm going to go with this one planned start so we can add the start and the due date we can add a duration description we can set a status so this one is going to be in progress. We can add a to-do list within a task. We can set the priority. Let's go with high, plan date and actual date here. In order to add another field, click on this option. And here I can create fields like drop down, date. We can add text area, files and media, number. We can add some information about the budget, ratings and section. So this is actually pretty good that we can add a lot more fields to a task within end task here at this side we have our you know timer so we can even track time and that will help us you know keep track of the billable and unbillable hours 
Then we have our comments. This is where our team members and we can comment to communicate with uh, about a task. Then we have documents, meetings, issues and risk. So I can even create meetings and issues for a task within, uh, you know, within a particular task here. So you can just click on the plus button. And now I can create a meeting related to this task, any task we have. Uh, for that, you have to enter the meeting title. Let's say we are having a work meeting. Then I can set a date, start time, duration, one hour. We can even add a location. So for location, if you are having this on, let's say, Zoom. So you can just go with Zoom here and we can even add like other locations or a link. Then we can also add an agenda that we will be discussing. Click on create meeting and a meeting will be created for this task. So we can even add an assignee at the top here. You can see I will just select myself. There you go. And we can add more than one assignee. Not started. This is the status yet. So we can change the status from here um, with not started or in progress in review and others. And we can even, you know, drag and drop from our board. So I'll show you that. Uh, then we also have our notifications and recurring task option at the top. A lot of different things to do within a task, which is pretty good. We have these three dots as well for copy, color, public link, move task, archive and delete. Now I'm going to close this task and this is how you create and edit a task. So if you want to move a task from one uh, list to the other, you can just simply drag and drop. So it's a simple drag and drop that we can do. Then we have task. So again, you can create a task within a board or you can separately go to the task option that is given. Then I showed you how to create biddings and we even have timesheets. So click on add new and then click on. So for our timesheets, all you have to do is just add a task here and it will collect the time for you and your time will be logged here and it will show you your timesheet. Now I can go with the task three. This is going to be a billable task. So what I can do is I can add the work and the time here and submit for approval. So this is our timesheet here. Then we have our issues and risks as well. For issue, you can just go to the issues, click on create. And this is where you will add your issue title. Let's say I am having a uh, bug. So I'll just go with the even the issue type is bug. And then the title, um, I'm just going to again go with bug here, assign to. I'm going to assign it to myself or we can even assign it to another team member. Click on create issue and an issue issue will be created here. It will have its own ID and we can even check it once it's done. So we will have an idea that, OK, this is the issue that has been selected and we can delete it or we can export it and we can even select the priority. So you can see we can do the issues and risks within our end task. Uh, quick access here. This is all quick access. And uh, even at the top here, you will get the add new where you can quickly add a task, project, meeting, issue or risk. This is how you use end task. If you want to switch between the workspaces, you can from this option here and add team members as well. Using end task is really easy and it is all in one project management software that you should definitely check out. You will be able to create projects, boards and much, much more. Within a task, there is a lot to do, a lot of different options that you will be able to avail. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.